Prez, you're on. Goodies, gentlemen, guys, brothers, and ah, oh, I can't be asked. of the species. Welcome to a very special episode of the Fork Chronicles, uh, the unmonetizable, the official podcast of the Fork Chronicles. The steps of the podcast to discuss the podcast me on. and the CD Uncle podcast to the unofficial official podcast. My name is Captain Privilege of the Fort Chronicles, and with you for no choice of their own, are Grandmaster Tech of the Fort Chronicles. Yeah, Yagi Young. Hello. And in the chat, as ever, we have an assortment of colourful and uh, uh, fucking varied personalities. We're the one and only Maniset. What? From Mani TV. Uh, we have uh, Zed Bloke. Greetings. Uh, I think uh, we've got Alex Slucker in the back. Hiya. Hiya. And we've got uh, numbers even with us this week. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know what a kick is off shoot at the moment. We've got Dark Side working as well. There is a lurk in Dark Side. But a huge shout out to everybody's uh, favourite mythical creature. Troll with them all as he has successfully managed to sit around for nine months. Well, his missus done all the all the heavy lifting and uh, produced a, a small little trolling uh, yesterday, I do believe. Well, well, in, uh, we now have troll with hours. a freckle. Yes, so uh, a huge shout out to him and his missus. Uh, I think everyone was fucking <laughs> banking on it. We really should have put in a, 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 a fucking a pool for when the baby was coming because I think uh, numbers wise they were definitely overdue by like a week. So it was, <laughs> it was one hell of a fucking waiting game he was playing there, bro. But uh, speaking of waiting, the wait is finally over for me to get my finger out and actually come to the Unmonetizables podcast with a plan and what a hell of a fucking plan was just handed to me this week as we are back in 20, circa 2014, 2016 YouTube. It's the fucking good old days where you got people like Keemstar and H3H3 and Leafy all going at it for their entertainment and I fucking love it so for any of you who don't know Keemstar is the big uh, big mouth big personality from the, the one show drama alert uh, known for his fuckery and ass hattery uh, yeah, more yeah, legendarily yeah. known for accidentally <clears throat> uh, misnaming a guy as a pedophile <laughs> uh, correcting said mistake but you know uh, also in the word actually more known for uh, being big fat papa bless vaporwave uh, niche all that sort of shit making some good decent comments videos in the past but since having started his own podcast uh kind of really airing and opening himself out for hypocrisy uh, and a lot of fucking fuckery as well no one near as bad as keemstar some would say with that being said he decided to drop content nook has variation of a content cop on Keemstar uh, out of the fucking blue it would seem and uh, what a fucking varied mixed reaction that they had this motherfucker comes out with a 40 minute video stock full of old footage of Keemstar of old dank stuff that has been addressed time and time again way more eloquently than what fucking H3 done using the old propaganda tactic of repeating the bad thing that's said over and over and over again now none of that was anywhere near as egregious I think we can agree uh, as when he decided to just continuously point out the fact that G Fuel was his sponsor and G Fuel was his sponsor and how could G Fuel be his sponsor and wouldn't you know it G Fuel's cut ties. So what I did actually have here for us was a video by the one and only Review Tech USA, which I think sums this whole thing up fucking perfectly. I ain't no fucking huge fan of Keemstar, but at the same motherfucking time, I definitely ain't no fan of HD, and I definitely ain't no fan of him going after fucking <clears throat> small sponsors after the adpocalypse we've been through. Funnily I mean, enough, just the- last night, Old Spice got fucking yeeted off H3 because someone went to, it, it, it went to Old Spice and started playing them old clips of H3 himself. Talking about dodgy sponsors, this podcast is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> what were you going to say, Manny? I mean, it didn't, like, the way I can see, the way I see it is he didn't go for his sponsor to make him lose money or anything. The way I see it, he done it because that was part of him. That's his identity. 
If you're going to go for somebody, you try and take their identity away from them. That's just shadow tactics. Shadow tactics, indeed. Looking in the dark like the snake that he is. I agree with you that he, but he didn't I did, like literally say in the video, go after his sponsors. I can't believe he's sponsored by G Fuel. But him, of all motherfuckers, should know after the several apocalypse we've been through that it's not going to affect him. It's not going to affect fucking drama alert. It's going to affect every smaller creator who relies on these fucking sponsorships. Sponsorships and, and advertisers are already skittish as fuck as it is. The mere mention of an N-word or a controversy or a scandal will have them fucking thrown themselves out the fucking, I mean, off be, the gravy train. To be fair, if you're sponsored by G Fuel, chances are you've done something wrong. Why can they steal in people's identities? Like, Unidentified, how are you doing by there? G Fuel is an insult. What is G Fuel? G Fuel a, is the biggest lovely. piece of shit you can get on the market at the moment. <laughs> it's powdered energy drink. Oh, I think I've seen that on sale recently. I think it even tasted it. It tasted like, it tastes like powdered ass. <laughs> I could never drink <laughs> it anyway because diabetes. I don't think, so. I don't think you're supposed really. to eat it powdered, Manny. <laughs> <laughs> you like but, too many powders. What's a big G ass? Well, I, what I, I was, thought it was sugar, all right? <laughs> well, I was really no, he didn't. See. You thought it was something else. I poured that shit in my cornflakes. <laughs> All right, fine. I thought it was cocaine. Get off my back. Damn oh. it! You got there before me. I thought you we were going to say we we're going to snort it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the way I see it, it's like kind of like I liked how fucking leafy dropped a video on it point they're like oh yeah keep on such a bad guy such a bad bad guy and at the same time it's kind of airing out that it's like yeah but he's so ain't no fucking saint neither and two wrongs don't make a right you know by all means keemstar's done a lot of fucked up shit said a lot of fucked up shit ain't no one defended that but for hd to come out the way he did and push these uh, the narratives that he did kind of seemed really scum fucky, especially because half of the stuff in his video had already been common knowledge when H3 himself went on to Keemstar's podcast a little over a year or ago. Now, yeah, yeah. Cause so was, it's pretty convenient that the motherfucker only now. takes umbrage with all this shit yeah, now. That's it, because what was it? There was a, a, a comment that popped up on one of the videos. You know that uh, that basically that phrase that um, H3 said that was the N and F word. Yeah, yeah that, speciality, that, yeah, that one, right? And uh, somebody popped up in the message, he's like, why do you keep bringing that up? And it's like, uh, because he said it. You dumb shit. See, the reason iDubbbz <laughs> gets away with it is because of the context he uses it in. Mm -hmm. But did you see the podcast with H3 and iDubbbz, where H3 <laughs> used it like fuck to yeah, try and make like, some kind I just of weird like joke that about I can how say iDubbbz that. gets away with it? <laughs> and then through his fucking good buddy or his somewhat close pal Puds under the bus when Puds very fucking poorly used it as a, a, an offensive fucking term uh, but was was quite quick to say oh yeah he's so comfortable using that word just throwing it out there just I don't know, man. I, I, I know I seem better here. I might seem uh, somewhat, uh, we've got bias, but that's because I am. Uh, fuck H3. Uh, fuck his snaky fat ass. I ain't, I ain't a fan of it. Uh, I think. I mean, he I did try back. to help during the first apocalypse by drawing attention to it all and oh, yeah. you know, sort of like speaking oh, yeah, to no, you directly yeah. as a large content creator. But by and large, I agree with you. The man is a serious fuckstick. But he did so, so, YouTube. So, YouTube, you cannot to... escape your sins. That's the main <laughs> thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that is that. I mean, it, it's just so funny. One minute he's fucking all anti apocalypse, next minute he's making fucking sponsorship jabs. You know, as I say in the re review tech video, review tech's pretty fucking straight up, uh, straight down the middle kind of guy, calls it like he sees it, and he's just fucking mad. He's like, you fucking know what you're doing, yeah. you fucking dumbass. You know what you've just done to every single one of our small creators scrapping for this fucking content? They're literally calling it sponsor apocalypse. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be another shit show. Uh, but no, we're gonna add pockets. Call it sponsor again. All right. Sponsor again. Like that. See, they should have got you in charge of branding for that, you know? Well, we're gonna see folk on the internet were smart with branding, so. So it is definitely gonna be uh, another shady dark night of the soul for uh for the, some youtubers in the future yeah, but speaking of the dark way. night uh ain't not gonna be a fucking better dark night than the snyder cut 
of Justice League that the NFL oh, 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 here we go. campaign for. <laughs> Are you already bringing this into another podcast? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean already? Of course, Omar. Like, what the fuck it? it was asked for by our listeners, Yangi. <laughs> listeners. You give the people what they want. Zen Bloke wanted me to mention it. And plus, I will mention it from the rooftops because the internet won. We won. Hashtag release the Snyder Cut. Motherfucker's getting given 20 million. Fuck knows how they're going to do it. But he's literally talking about it being a four hour epic or episode. Like they're going to split it into two parts or something. You're like, yeah! I'm trying to fucking wait. So what? Everyone else's I've heard thoughts. of it than turning it into like a, actually like a Netflix series or something. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, I thought it was like I just, I couldn't go a flying fuck. <sighs> I mean, I'm well, as long I as long the as we can actually get it to make bloody sense, because the movie it's basically just a pretty mess. I sat there in queue for three fucking hours, only to be disappointed by another three. You'll see. To be honest with you, I was having more fun in that queue than in the actual movie. <laughs> That's seen something like. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a thing with Henry Cavill. It's like the guy can act; he can be charismatic. But as Superman, I mean, the wow. best Superman for me Whoa. on screen in the modern era, and I mean the modern era, is Dean Cain. Because, it, okay, it's the TV <laughs> version, it was a bit weak. Okay, but so he had, I'm going to have to ask you to shut your <laughs> oh, it's getting salty again. Oh, it's like that. Ooh, it's Henry, Cavill, Henry Cavill carried that fucking movie. But like, I think regardless of what we think of Justice League now, it doesn't matter because we're going to get the Snyder Cut and it'll make everything you know what's right fun? again. Speaking of DC, you know how you said they might be making Amber Heard the new Batwoman? Mm. Uh, that won't be happening because they said they want an LGBT person a Matilda Oh, again. fuck off with that so, shit. Do we have an LGBTQ person before? And guess what they turned around and said? The community started attacking her because she said she was pansexual once in the past and then said she was lesbian. So guess what? It's also she's not she's gay enough. She yeah. wasn't gay enough. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing that fucking attacked her for being not gay yeah. enough. <laughs> this is the thing that yeah, always yeah, gets me. Not a woman. I'm not making this is the up. thing that always gets me in this particular argument. <laughs> you know, but if you have gay, somebody... A percentage. <laughs> yeah. a fucking Play, if you're playing a role, if you're an actor, that's what you're doing. You're I've played straight characters before and nobody blinked a you're fucking eye. Being something else. So you can act gay or you can act straight. You're an actor. No, That's the no how dare you. It's like <laughs> you're taking important roles away from those people, those actors, and that is shut the yeah, fuck up. Yeah, but off. I mean, it's the like, fuck it's like the whole, it's like the whole, oh, uh, what's your skin yeah. tone? Oh, they're not that colour enough to be called that. You're like, what? <laughs> Nothing Here. excited me more than the prospect of fucking Johnny Depp's abuser playing Batwoman. That genuinely made me fucking wet. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Yangi? <laughs> wet way, just, just, to, just to clarify, as, as an LGBT actor, I personally don't fucking care if a straight person plays a, a, a gay person or whatever. I couldn't give a fuck who plays who as long as they play it right. Well, exactly. That's it. But they're not playing it right if they're not gay enough. Apparently. <laughs> Fucking sharp. Eh? Say, hell, we let Hugh Jackman away, away with playing Wolverine when he was about a foot and a half too tall. Here, does this mean if someone doesn't like, you know, cheese on toast or whatever, they can't play after a character that needs You're going after toast. fucking Jackman? <laughs> <laughs> Zen blokes on thin ice out here, boys. Out thin ice. <laughs> oh, no, I love Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, but, you know, if we're going to go for perfection... Which is what a lot of people see. We what should have went for Tom Cruise. I get you. I'm on the same. <laughs> I'm on the same. I swear to God, I might actually have an annual. I'm going to bust a ball. I met Hugh Jackman. Alex has met Hugh Jackman. Oh. Alex has met Hugh Jackman. Oh my God! I never, liked, I never liked Amber Heard due to the fact she's just fucking poison. She is actual toxic as fuck. I know, it really stings after you have a hate wank, innit? <laughs> right, uh, moving swiftly on okay. to our favourite segment of the shizzle, the, the greatest segment ever devised in any podcast ever, because I came up with it. It is the one and only fucking Twitter moment where I take brilliant segments from Twitter's uh, recommended moments for you 
and uh, I, I create them and uh, fashion them into some sort of um, fucking usable content. Starting us off with some huge, huge accusations here. Okay, no huge accusations, but huge, <laughs> huge accusations. While well, I fiddle furiously trying to uh, well, see if it's posted. Ari- <laughs> Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber shut down allegations that they bought their number one billboard spot. Oh, that's from six nine shit. Here we go. Well, I mean, let's let's face it. Okay, the world's biggest rat and snitch, the Kessie Six Nine, was just let out. And he's not done snitching, apparently, because he informed the world that Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber be buying their number one billboard spots, that uh, they weren't hitting uh, the, the appropriate place in the charts. So by purchasing 30,000 units, uh, they managed to rock it right. their shit right. up. Hold on, right. hold on. Right. So, right. Right. This is how I think about it, right? So imagine if somebody like Takeshi is blaming Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber for taking number one spot in the billboard. That is the equivalent of a fucking 12 year old on Xbox Live accusing you of hacking because he keeps getting killed. But stop hacking and killing him then, though. The thing is, like, what is any different from most streamers on YouTube that buy advertising? Yeah, there's difference between buying advertising and buying your own fucking units. Unless you go and buy is, bots. Yeah. Listen, that is the equivalent of buying bots. This has bots. been a practice that has mm. long been aye, sub bots, totally. Yeah, well that's it. This has been a practice that's long been accused of being happening within the fucking recording yeah. world. Because these oh, motherfuckers yeah. pump a lot of money into these artists. And exactly. if they don't get the number one spot, then they can't get them pushed even Come on. further. Politician, all over the radio. Politicians uh, basically off handedly buy votes from people. There's no money in actual people. music anymore, the actual sales of the units. The money is solely in and fucking revenue. live performances and ad revenue. Yeah. Most of it's like, actually in the merchandising as well. Yeah, the yeah. there you go. You know? T-shirts and such. It's so if they've like, got to spend a few, like, what, a, you're not even talking quarter of a million to buy 30,000 units. It wouldn't even be like 100,000 of these motherfuckers. Somebody once told me, I, and I don't know how true this is, but it sounds plausible that after that time... We, you may remember some of these were long memories that way back in the mists of time, Iron Maiden actually got the Christmas number one with Bring Your Daughter to the Slaughter. <laughs> I totally and they wouldn't did. play it on the radio, you know, except for the chart show. And it's like, and ever since then, they've done everything they can to make sure that the only the right people ever hit the number one slot. <laughs> ah, you see, you can say that, but not long after that, the Christmas number one was then taken over by killing in the name of with Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> <laughs> that was because of a gigantic internet campaign. Back when back when Daughter, ca- slot, and and daughter the slot yeah. came out, there was barely any bl- sodding internet. Well, I would much prefer that than Mr. Blobby or Zig and Zag that happened back in the day. Oh like, God! <laughs> no, thank you. I do not want to be listening to that for the entirety of Christmas. Working in this shop. There's a boomer around here. <sighs> yeah, as uh, as well, I think we can agree, Mr. Blobby and whatnot, we aren't gay enough. Just like Ruby Rose, who wasn't gay enough that we already touched on. Uh, thanks for stepping on my shit, uh, fucking Yangi. It's all your fault, Yangi. Good God, Yangi, why would you do that to me? I believe you did that to me. But not only uh, can I not believe you did that to me, I can't believe Joe Rogan is deserting us all for Spotify for a hundred million, allegedly. An exclusive <laughs> Spotify deal, the biggest fucking deal, the biggest podcast on the planet. That's why he ended up on BBC News. Under the he whole, ended up on BBC who, News. Yeah, who is Joe Rogan? That whole section. Oh wow! Now BBC Spotify News. Owns, owns his ass. They're like, oh, let's make a mainstream. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah pretty much. It's like, mm. it's weird because it's like, what was it? Um, who's it supposed to be playing the new Batman? Uh, but the Robert vampire Pattinson. features. Robert Pattinson. Aye, Aye. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. And like recently, I've been sort of starting to see messages of people going, "Oh my god, I'm totally flipping out! I can't believe Pattinson is pl- going to be playing Batman." Like, where have you been? This has only been news for like the past six months. Have you been living under a rock somewhere? And now it's like, who is Joe Rogan? <laughs> Definitely, you guys have been living under a rock somewhere. I mean, Could seriously. I'm in a Facebook group again. Bring it back to Facebook. Ho ho! About a uh, cyberpunk, right? And there's people that still ask, like, oh, will my PC run the game? And they post pictures of, like, fucking potatoes, and they're like, oh, when does the game come out? Oh, if this game has multiplayer, I'm going to be so pissed off. 
uh, do you think there'll be micro transactions? And it's all things that have been confirmed that they're asking about. And it's like, gee, do you not have fucking Google? No, Aye. no. Listen, why Google when they can join a Facebook group and ask questions like about a year that later continuously until they get the answer? They're showing yeah. pictures of fucking potatoes with fucking coins coming out of them. I'm pretty sure their computer can run Google. <laughs> yeah. It can run Mac. Don't really get all these endless uh, things on Facebook saying like, test the PlayStation Five, and they put up a mock picture <laughs> of, that is of naked at all with a with a modified version of a DualShock Four, yeah, and yeah. it's like. They've already introduced the dual sense. There's a dual sense controller. We've seen pictures. At least put that in the bloody thing. Yeah, exactly. It's like, come on. Facebook well, is full of shit. <laughs> what's really incredible is uh, how far back in time you seem to be going on this podcast, benching and things like fucking, you know, YouTuber Beast and uh, fucking Facebook, for God's sake. Uh, it may have something to do with the fact that That's scientists in Antarctica claim they've found evidence of a parallel universe where time runs backwards. We're already which, in it. Ah. Which was really, really cool. Uh, <laughs> Yang has spotted this. He hit me up with this. I thought, wow, this is great. A great bit of fodder for... Uh, uh, Twitter moments, you know, until I seen the next Twitter moment where it said that uh, no, NASA did not detect evidence of a parallel universe where time runs backward. <laughs> 2016 researchers in Antarctica detected signals from high energy particles known as neutrinos that could not be explained by our current understanding of physics. Though the puzzling findings led to plenty of speculation, they did not offer any evidence of a parallel universe yeah. according to CNET forms and other outlets. Yeah, but, However, yeah. I have another theory for me. I'm pretty sure that both the previous story and this story are actually just native advertising for Chris Nolan's new film. Probably. Tenet, where they probably. can turn time back. Yeah, it bit. probably it's is. It's like a computer game where, like, uh, you know, like a fucking Prince of Persia where you could reverse if you're going to die. You could push that back button and stop that yeah. happening. Well, that's it. That's Forza. What Forza. Forza's a better option, you know. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Someone who played Forza with, you know, wow. the high power vehicle wow, optimization where you can, like, completely design the vehicles yourself. Didn't take you for a car guy, Yangi. So I'm saying. I'm not a car guy, it's just, I'm a customization guy. Also, the latest one, set in Edinburgh. It's not set in Edinburgh, but Edinburgh's one of the many reason, locations that's you can go to. I haven't bought it. Spoiled. That's what that is. But uh, I don't think I'll spoil you just as much as uh, Lady Gaga and fucking whatever Ariana Grande not only buying their own number one spots, but giving you a free drink as they collaborate with Starbucks. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I don't even know Starbucks sang. They don't even wrote fucking pop tune. <laughs> So hold on. So that'll Buy be. Buy it on yeah. iTunes. What if I just stream it? Or this... Like I download it on iMusic and then convince them that I have it on iTunes. Yeah, the like thing... iTunes stream it on you from a great height. It's called hashtag rain on me. The thing is, I can actually I can actually see the conversation with the, the people that help her advertise. And she's just sitting there going, Huh, oh, wouldn't it be funny to get a Starbucks? Because I'm called Ariana Grande and they've got a Grande drink in there. Oh, that'll be hilarious. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can see that. Something happening. and there was a good actual fucking Starbucks Grande <coughs> latte fucking joke, but just imagine he made it, okay? Exactly. <laughs> and it was a bad one. <laughs> But listen, that's nowhere near as much a fucking oopsie doopsie as uh, Chris Pratt, who has gone and done a Hillary Clinton, apparently. Uh, he's accidentally deletes over 51,000 yeah, emails. Accidentally. <laughs> he's like, I accidentally <laughs> deleted 51,000 emails, so I don't have to reply to them this weekend, so I can actually go and have a drink. Yeah, well, apparently his son uh, gasped in shock when he saw his dad's inbox with over 35,000 DBLs on red. Uh, and after trying to sort things out, he accidentally deleted the whole inbox. Yeah, no, <laughs> that, that just sounds wow. like a yeet. Can be arsed dealing with those. To be fair, oh, that does sound like a dad moment. Yep. Like, that sounds like a, like a technologically... He is a really moment. Christian guy, so he probably is a bit technophobic. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's really judgmental. the headline would have been better for him if it had just been like, I couldn't be arsed, so I hit delete. Now, like that, <laughs> I could actually have some respect for. <laughs> it's, it, it's like the whole, it's like the whole uh, landline voicemail, you know what I mean? Oh, if it's important, they'll just call me back. Again. You know, 
It's like, I'll just let it go to voicemail. Meh. But once again, <laughs> who cares what Chris Pratt does with his fucking emails? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I did find it kind of weird because it seems like it's such an odd time to just be bringing up 50,000 emails like that. It's like, hmm. Hmm, where have we had that number before? Maybe, yeah. Is there some sort of presidential race going on right now? Also, last year there was a huge uh, contest. Dad's 31,000 unread emails. Why, why does it say 51,000 at one point and 35,000 at the other point? Exactly, my yeah. point, exactly. It just seems like a non If it's 51,000 emails, one thing's for certain, it's not on an easy server. Was it, was well, that was a easy... bit too deep cut of an internet. So <laughs> 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 Fucking dork! How dare you? <laughs> nah, yeah, we're not. We're not that type of dorks. We're, we're, we're a type of dorks that listen to the KSI's new album that dropped. You're the, the type simulation. Of dork that listens to KSI. Whatever the hell that means. Shut up! You were listening to it. I you? think I don't care about his albums. I just think he should go back to his Halo roots. <laughs> Halo? I thought he was yeah. a FIFA guy. Yeah, it was Halo before he was FIFA. That's where the name KSI comes from. It was a whole Halo thing. Manny, can you confirm this? Is this true? Yes, it was. Ew. There you go, confirmed. Wow. Okay, I don't know whether that makes me respect KSI go. more or respect Halo less, but I'll spite my tongue on that one before Manny fucking pulls out a Halo sword or whatever the fuck those... A Halo sword? Things. You mean an energy sword? Yeah, yeah, that one. I was was asking? The correct, term, the correct term is a swish swish stab. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's That's so right, so much better. <laughs> so if I'm uh, going to see an energy weapon with cutting potential, give me Optimus Prime's double axe. Did Did anyone listen to the uh, the KSI album apart from me and Tech? No. 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 Fuck's sake! You're so uncultured. God damn it! No, it's just that we're not simps. <laughs> I'm not I don't like that genre of like, music. I don't like KSI much. I just think it's it's cool to support a big YouTuber becoming a big crossover star. Okay, just like Joji. Just, just not as talented. If he was less annoying. Speaking of Joji, actually, did you see fucking Jojo Siwa's transformation on TikTok that made everyone go fucking wild? Did you also see Jojo Siwa's doctored to um doctored Instagram messages? Okay, this is uh, <laughs> this is all interesting stuff. No, what? You didn't? Oh my! Explain this shit. <clears throat> no, I don't know if these are all aware, but Blair White deleted both her Twitter and her Instagram. Oh, why? Is, um... If she's a cunt, <laughs> just straight out. Why not? <laughs> Who is Blair White? Well, Blair White is a popular uh, trans YouTuber who, more uh, frequently than not, speaks out against. Um, Wait. Know, lefty SGW speaking for the, the, the trans community type stuff. Uh, oh. But it has more recently been on the, the rampage. Is Blair White know the, the weird blonde American woman with huge tits that covers herself in the flag or the thing? Oh, no. wait, no and shit. If you let me finish, yes. you'll know. She's <laughs> not blonde. Oh, it's shit. So anyway, uh, yeah. She's more recently been going after like fucking Anision, and uh, there was a there was a weird trans YouTuber that was a very, very kind of questionable. Whether or Alex has given me a description here. Blair White is an American YouTuber and political commentator describing her beliefs as centre right. She's cri- she's a critic of third wave feminism activists. Uh, she views as social justice warriors and activist movements like Black Lives Matter. But wait, what? Wait, huh? Yeah. Uh... Can, can, so basically, she's like a big boob version of Tommy Laren. I thought I thought feminists were against the LGBTQ. No. <laughs> yeah, just, sir. Just going by the media, you know. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, well, if we don't have confirmation on that Jojo Siva stuff, what we'll do is we'll put that to the side and we'll have a little look at that next week. I think. Uh, and uh, no, Yangi, I haven't seen Jojo Siva's transformation on TikTok because I don't have Jojo Siwa on TikTok, you fucking nonce. He's going to be uh, there's a thing all over social media. She looks like a normal person for five seconds. You know, it's something that has been all over social media. I don't know if I've mentioned it uh, in the last couple of podcasts, but Zack Snyder's no, got 20 it. million plus to uh, redo the Justice League cut. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I think it'll be patchy because it's a patch up job. But uh, speaking of patches. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
everyone's favourite Call of Duty Modern Warfare uh, decided to have a 30 gig. That's patch. where you're going with that? That's yeah. 30 gig is nothing. Try I R with a 79. Is huge. Yeah. I didn't realise that the total amount for to Modern Warfare, that brings it up to, I believe, 215 gigabyte. No, it doesn't. It doesn't add the patch on it though. Like it changes some files. Uh, it might add like, like 10, just because it's a thirty gigabyte gig. patch doesn't mean that it's you know thirty added on gigabytes. Look, there's there's far too many gigabytes going on. That's what <laughs> we're saying. Okay, right, when, when, not everyone has yeah. time in the day or good enough internet to be downloading thirty gigabytes of a fucking update. No, that, Christ, that I was true. struggling all last week just to get a nine gigabyte update. Yeah, but well, that's... Billy, I know about low internet speeds. Yeah, well, accor- yeah. according to you know the British government, we're in a uh, we're all in a country that apparently has the best and most efficient internet in the world. <laughs> yeah, That's South Did Korea. I- exactly. You're like, since when? <laughs> oh, but we've been stretching your network out to even the farthest reaches in the country. Yeah, there's some places that are in the most cities widely still available can't get. internet, but it's definitely oh, right, not so the best. Get, yeah. That's brilliant. So I can just go and get five megabytes of download speed up at John O'Groats. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. But the, the the weird thing is the fact that what was it a couple of weeks ago uh, when we were My trying download to, speed is sixteen. That, actually, no, it was a month ago when we were trying to upload something. Megabytes. I actually found out that I could upload Shh. it faster on my phone than I could from the PC. Well, uh, <laughs> <I'm> like, <"What?" laughs> before we have a complete spurging out dork fit on our uh, gigabytes and gigabits, uh, let's uh, just don't say gigabits. Circle it off here uh, with some nice, lovely, uh, beautiful, naturistic stuff as uh, Mother Nature is bringing banana, strawberry, milkshake, moth energy. It's a vibe, guys. It's a totes mood. Uh, Rebecca at Red I don't know what's Mel Boomer. I don't know what's Mel Boomer. That entire sentence of the, that slang that he just used. Noticed one vivid pink and yellow moth outside, and before she knew it, the deck became a strawberry lemonade party for two. Yeah. You've heard of pastel goth. Now be ready for pastel moth. <laughs> Oh fuck off! God. <laughs> Jesus, face palms fuck. all round. <laughs> uh, be shot Do the, you know what I want to see the, the Mothman in Fallout seventy six look like? Fucking that. Actually, that'd be fucking yeah. dope. Except you know they'd save it for an LGBTQ fucking moth mom for some shit. You know, LGBTQ Mothman. It will be, you know, it will, you know. We at Bethesda celebrate nothing but diversity. Wow. You can't be a mock man. This thing, though, I've got to say, though, it looks good so point. <laughs> yes. It's tough to be a moth person or a moth unidentified. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The new cryptid, the unidentified moth. Um, moth. <laughs> unidentified moth, M? Um, you really thought that one, too. The unidentified moth, moth. <laughs> well, uh, I think good flag, you know what? It might not even identify as a moth anymore. It's an unidentified dusty butterfly. <laughs> dusty butterfly. That's ooh, that sounds like some kind of sex thing or drug thing. Well, you have to remember. I mean, the whole idea of a moth is they're eventually going to transition. Is that moths? Did he do that? No, that that's that's caterpillars and butterflies. Oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> that was I'm a great joke in my head, and then it just crumbled. <laughs> I'm going to check me and Q for Lucy's. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me know even uh, nature so good, but me know that no right. So. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, balls that up. <sighs> like uh, two kind of balls up. Speaking of knowing nature, knowing cities, Alex, remember when you thought San Francisco was a state? I bought. Oh, we're back My fiance uh, thought that San Francisco, you know, the city in the state of California, was its own state. Who cares? They're all a state in Cali. They're, you know, they're just so fucking out there with their with their ways and their their thoughts and their progressive. Every bullshit. person is a state in their own right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'm in a different state of mind, Yangi, where I want to speak about what people have got going on this coming week. If anybody's got anything they want to plug or talk about or prepping for, looking forward to, uh, I would like them to do so now and forever hold their peace. 
and uh, I'm not talking about their genitals. Uh, Manny, what you got happening this week? It's coming up. Um, I've got an appointment to heat on my desk at four o'clock. Mm -hmm. One you cannot miss. And that's about it. <laughs> well, that's a lie because you'll be streaming Monster Hunt on Mondays. Yes, I will. And then you'll be streaming Wastelander Wednesdays. Yep. One half of the double dose of radiation as he comes and streams on Sharp Gangy Thursday Thursdays with me. For the Vault of Hours, 69ers. Yes, indeed. And then Friday we have Fallout. You go for uh, Fallout Friday as well, yeah? Sweet. No, Friday we'll have Halo, sorry. Friday we'll have Halo, and then say. Saturday I'll be streaming pretty much whatever the fuck I like. For the... Stream. The Relay stream. That's the one! There we go, we got there. I like that. That was teamwork. You'd be, you know, synced up really well there. Okay, it is indeed the Indie Scots Relay stream for Endurance. 12 till 12, there'll be something on. So if you don't know... Now you know, hit your ass up over on Andy Scott's Twitch at any point during the day on Saturday the 30th, between 12 and 12, and you'll be able to see who's being hosted. Uh, but if you want to know specifically who's on, we have lists up in the Andy Scott's Discord, there'll be stuff getting tweeted out on the Andy Scott's Twitter. Uh, and your mic just got completely out. He's gone. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, Gadies, Letterman, guys and barrels. And all, all variations, variations of, the of, the, of the undetermined. Shut up, you lot, right? What I was saying was... <laughs> <laughs> what I was saying was, uh, yeah, I'll probably post up a, a list of who's playing and who's doing what. Although that was uh, that seemed pretty in sync, guys. She's done pretty well there covering that for me. Uh, that was a test, just to make sure you could finish the podcast without me. But, yeah, yeah, Yanni, what you got going on? What's cracking? What's happening? Uh, I've got some stuff for some Reddit videos, I've got other recordings that I've done and just need to edit, and I've got a script for a, a darker toned video that I'd, I'd like darker to Darker toned of colour? A darker toned of colour video that, that's not funny. Oh. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean it. Oh, okay. It's, 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 it's a darker video, but it'll be, it'll be good. Try to see darker and hopefully funny, impactful no. just because i want to do some actual acting oh okay i thought because this whole thing college. was an act but okay <laughs> no, no uh, this is what he's like 24 7 yeah this is me <laughs> alex, i don't change my personality for entertainment this. alex you got any more music and stuff coming on i think you do uh, maybe, maybe what i announced friday uh, yeah every friday's now for alex Maybe what I announced that you're uh, also the, the, the third, third uh, host of the unofficial official podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm now on the unofficial official podcast. Okay, unofficial unofficially though. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, that. Yeah, interim officially. unofficially officially on the unofficial official podcast. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, Zemblok, yeah. what you got for coming an up? undetermined amount of time? Uh, I'm basically just representing my uh, red bubble storm, trying to make it a bit nicer to look at. And I'm looking into the possibility of restarting my podcast that I tried to get going a couple of years ago and didn't manage to make happen. So I'm looking into the ideas of trying to bring back a Scottish only gaming focused podcast with like maybe one or two people, but only Scottish people on it. Fuck you, Alex. Try and have, yeah, try and have, a, <laughs> you know, have that USP of just being a purely Scottish focus yeah, however we, if you are interested in it if you are interested in it a day user the only proviso you'll need to know is one it's going to be done through playstations so you're going to have to have a playstation in the headset and two nice. on my channel uh, i do not swear and i would very much hope that you also do not swear don't well, say well, fuck about my content i'm a little lost interest <laughs> I don't have a PlayStation. That, that's just how I roll on my channel. Swear, so. I don't swear on my content. I try yeah, to make man, it sure that don't everybody can see it. We don't yeah, judge yeah. when people like to not swear much. That's a, it's not a bad thing. Okay, it just means they're a little cocky and simpy and what a family oh, friendly. No, I swear like a you, trooper outside They're just a little bit English. But on YouTube, <laughs> that's I don't. Right. Yeah, cool, bro. Uh, and, hey, Chris. Yep. If yeah. I'm now on the unofficial official podcast. Mm -hmm. I'm an unidentified, there's unofficially, officially, an unofficial official co-host on the unofficial official podcast. 
that has yet to be identified. Uh, yes, I like that. Yeah, that that <laughs> needs to go on a business card because that sounds impressive. I think that's pretty much the name of the next episode. Uh, I, do I think I just had an argument. Uh, 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 stroke. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> I had a stroke at once. Yeah. Well, done. I was trying to say an aneurysm, but it wasn't happening, so I just went down a different road. <laughs> well, on that note, folks, before we all have orgasm aneurysms or whatever the fuck that was, uh, I'll just take a moment to say uh, we are the content crushing machine here in the Fox Chronicles. As uh, just mentioned, the unofficial official podcast will be up uh, by the time you hear My dog this. wants to join the podcast. She's calling at the door. That's awesome. And then the Monday, the more the merrier. The Monday we will Follow be dropping this. Follow her on Instagram this. at ethel.the.pug. Is this to plug the Ethel segment of the show, Yagi? Or is this the show plug plug the the Shut yeah, the fuck up. I have the conch piggy segment of the show. Is that what that is? Yeah. The what? You hear that? I have the conch piggy. Lord of the flies, read it, young cultured swine. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> fucking. God damn it, you put me off where the fuck I was. Mondays, we drop the fucking unmonetizables as you be listening to, obviously. Tuesdays is a little bit naked at the moment, but we'll come up with something for it in the meantime. Wednesdays, we drop uh, something else on the Fort Chronicles, whether it be a commentary video or what have you, and also our stream with Manny uh, as part of the Vault 69ers yes. uh, on Manny TV. And then on Thursday, I stream on behalf of the Andy Scots uh, for Thursday Thursdays. A lot more follow as well. And on Friday, we drop another video. We just dropped the glorious 40 minute first ever playthrough of Fallout 4, blind playthrough, Fallout 4. Text clearly never played Fallout 4 for hours on end. Uh, clearly. Because it gets spanked by bots and chased. Clearly. So be sure to check that out. I'm just uh, not sure. We do have uh, 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 the 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 this course really on Saturday. I don't think folk aren't signed up for it, but I'll definitely be there in the chat. I'll be involved. Keep an eye out for the community games night on the Friday. We're on very own uh, Grandmaster Tech Quizler uh, has been helping with the Quizmaster himself. Cod coming up with some uh, real uh, salt-inducing questions for you. So if you're bored and want to learn more about how much you don't know about Disney short films and, uh, and retconning, yep. uh, yeah, an tune into that. Uh, I'm pretty sure there will be some sort of quiz on the Saturday night as well at the end of the relay. But in the meantime, this has been episode 92 of the Unmonetized. I'd like to thank absolutely everybody for kicking it with us. Grandmaster Tech, Alex, uh, Manny TV, Yari, Zenbok, and fucking Homeboy Darkseid was locking in the background. Once again, shout out to Troll, a little Troll, Mama Troll, the whole Troll family. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think that's a, as good a place as any to call it a, a night. Uh, for some reason, I'm struggling to segue in the mullin fucking catchphrase of closing hell focuses any communications and gonna go check out prices for a furry pink yellow moth suit <laughs> fail fail